Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Cooking with Shade. So, today, um, I'm going to be making meatloaf. And I like meatloaf. Meatloaf is like one of those meals that just, I don't know, it just makes you feel really good. <laughs> so, I will be cooking meatloaf. And with meatloaf, you can add any side that you want. Uh, any size that you want. You can add mashed potatoes. If you're doing a more uh, healthier lifestyle, you can do cauliflower mashed potatoes um, with some Brussels sprouts, or you can do regular mashed potatoes with some green beans. The possibilities are endless. It's such a, it's such a, um, like just a warm, um, just down home cooked, uh, meal. So go ahead and join me on cooking with Shay. Okay guys, so for this recipe, you're gonna need a red bowl or any color bowl, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, one cup and a half of breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs is preferable. Three fourths cup of milk, two eggs, some meatloaf seasoning, and uh, a, a loaf pan. Then make sure you grease it and a pound of ground meat. So I'm gonna add the um, ground meat to the um, bowl and make sure it's a big enough bowl where you can put everything in it. Messing up the less, di the less dishes you use, the better. Uh, go ahead and crack the eggs, both eggs, and put them inside of the bowl. Sometimes I whip the eggs, sometimes I don't. Just depends on how I feel that day. Today, did not feel like whipping no eggs. <laughs> now you're going to add the breadcrumbs. and the meatloaf seasoning. If you do not have meatloaf seasoning, um, you can use uh, Italian seasoning, some oregano, some chili powder, um, some uh, salt, pepper, you know, season it however you would like. I just preheated the oven to 400. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of the milk, just enough. You probably won't use all of that, but depending on how much uh, you're using. Now, you're gonna use your hands. <laughs> so you're gonna get it all mixed in there. Mix, 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 mix. Really good. You want to make sure that you're scooping from the bottom of the bowl, getting all the breadcrumbs mixed in. If you are doing like a low carb type diet, you can replace the breadcrumbs with uh, pork skins. All you do is crush them up, put them in a bag, use the, the butt of the spoon, crush them up really, really good. And it, it does just like breadcrumbs, but just, I didn't have any. And for the sake of this video, I used Italian breadcrumbs. So keep that in mind as well. Okay. Yep, mix just a little bit more. All right. Get our pan lined up and we're gonna go ahead and just take it straight from the bowl to the pan and as you put it in the pan uh, you'll notice that I'm pushing it down and you're kind of shaping it a little bit you want to shape it some so uh, once I get it all in there then you'll see me shape um, shape the meatloaf according to the pan and get it fit in there real nice you want it real nice and snug. I wish my pan was a little bit bigger than what it was, but that's okay. So 
So make sure you get it tucked in there really good. nice and even get it as even as you can get it packed down in there so that everything is bound together and I'm gonna wash my hands And that's another thing too, guys, make sure you wash your hands before I started the video I had already washed my hands. I guess next time I'll show me washing my hands prior to uh, working on the food but that is very important when you're dealing when you're cooking for anyone cooking for yourself when you're cooking period you want to make sure that your hands are clean at all times so make sure of that okay so that is the finished, well, not the finished product, but that's what it looks like once you get it in the pan. And because it was not the pan I have isn't the size that I normally would like, I'm going to put a cookie sheet up underneath the pan to trap any juices or anything that overflow from the pan so it doesn't get my stove, so it doesn't get my oven uh, filthy. I hate Then I'm gonna add just a little bit of uh, no calorie sweetener. Um, and this, the sweetener that I just showed you is keto friendly. So it's just friendly all the way around. <laughs> Not just keto, it's just friendly all the way around guys. So then I'm gonna mix that up. Stir, 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 stir. Mix it up really, really good. And then I'm going to spoon it over the meatloaf. Actually, so I'm just gonna pour it over, <laughs> pour it over the meatloaf, and then smooth it out with the spoon. How about that? How about we do that? So I'm gonna pour it and smooth it. Pour it and smooth it. sauce is getting everywhere try to contain it okay now I'm smoothing it okay guys so this is the finished product mm. smell that meatloaf that's the meatloaf I made a side of green beans I made a side of mashed potatoes some garlic gravy and some cornbread so that's what my family will be eating Thank you guys for joining the first episode of Cooking with Shay. And um, I hope you enjoyed my meatloaf video. It came out really, really good. No, I have not tasted it yet, but I'm fin to. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys really quick what my plate looks like. Okay, guys. So because I'm going low carb, I am siding my meatloaf with some Brussels sprouts. Yes, I know. Eww. But they're really, really good. And I just seasoned them with some salt and pepper, some garlic, I mean, not some garlic, some Italian seasoning, 
and they turned out great they complement my meatloaf guys enjoyed it drop a comment down below let me know any other recipes you would like for me to do i'll be posting on this channel once a week so make sure you guys hit that post notification bell so you can catch every free i was gonna say every freaking <laughs> every single video <laughs> that i post over here i also have another page um that i am tracking my weight loss journey over there on um mocha queen so you guys feel free to go over there and follow me as well and um i also have a in, an instagram page keto life 85 that's k-e-t-o-l-y-f-e 85 you can go over there and follow me as well let me know you're from my youtube page and i'll be sure to give you a shout out guys i really do appreciate it thank you and keep eating